Hi there, everybody. Okay, now we are looking at today in our science lesson to create, creating, and designing our own Mars buggy. Okay, our own Mars buggy. That's our learning objective for this lesson to design and create a Mars buggy based on what we know already about some of the Mars, um, some of the Mars um, buggies, and some of the Mars rovers and all these different explorers that have been to Mars already based on what we know about them and based on what we know about Mars we're going to create our own Mars buggy okay our own design okay now this is one of the latest uh, buggies and rovers that has gone to Mars it was called the opportunity and it's on the website here the one the same one that we've been on before okay the NASA Mars exploration okay and here it has all the information about the opportunity. Okay. Now, unfortunately, the opportunity no longer can send anything back because it was no response has been received because it was caught maybe in a planet encircling dust storm on Mars. However, the opportunity was able to send stuff back to to Earth, okay, it was able to send back some photos, and I'll show you some of them here, okay, some of these pictures, as you can see here, are taken, isn't that incredible, from Mars, the surface of Mars, okay, look, look at this one, okay, incredible, okay, these incredible pictures that were taken, well, and here it is, here's a picture of the, of the Opportunity rover on Mars, okay, have a look at the buggy there, the designs, Okay, check out the wheels, the pistons, what's got going on here. Really incredible stuff. Okay. And some of the other things. It's taken so many photos okay, of the surface of Mars. Okay. What it looks like. You can check all of these out. I'll make sure I put a link. Okay. To the, with this with this. Here, this kind of link here, I'll put in our Google Classroom so that we can check it out. Okay, so and you can check it out at home. Okay, then so Spirit, there's another one called Spirit. There was the opportunity, and then there was the Spirit. Okay, but also again, we haven't heard a lot of communication from them right now. Okay, so if we click on the the opportunity, this is all the things. Okay. Opportunity was on Mars for 15 years or more, okay, which is amazing. Over 600 recovery commands has been sent, okay, and, yeah, and, and now it's been a while without a signal from them because of the storm. Okay, but it was on Mars for 15 years at least, which is incredible, okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to think about your own design, okay. Look, here are some more here, okay. Spirit and Opportunity, both of them. Okay? And they found out a lot of amazing things. So this is all stuff that you can read and check out, okay? And this is all the things they found out as well. Look here. The, the ancient, they looked at the ancient volcano on Mars, the conditions for life on Mars, if there are, you know what I mean? They're looking at the right conditions, the climate, the, trying to find salty water, and that there was maybe at one point water on Mars, Okay? And they have all these different things here. Here is all the things they have on it. They have a panoramic camera, a miniature thermal emission spectrometer. That sounds interesting, doesn't it? Okay. And that provides the temperatures on Mars. Okay. Okay. Look at this one. A Mossbauer spectrometer, which is, looks at the minerals of, of Mars, yeah? And the minerals and all the rocks and the soils. Mm -hmm. Look at all these other things. There's so many things as well. Look here. They put on. I'll, I'll let you read through all of them, okay? So, okay, so once you've had a read through of all of these, it's then time for you to design your own. Oh, let me bring it up here. Ma so, time for you to design a, a buggy. First of all, what you've got to do is you've got to look at the temperature of Mars, the sunlight, the gravity, the landscape and surface, the weather, and the atmosphere, okay? Then it says, 
write a list of all the things that your Mars buggy will be a need to be able to do. And you've got to take this stuff into account when you make your, your things. So there's one, two, three, four, five different sections. Okay? Things that you want your buggy to be able to do. And then on the, the on the on the basically on the on the the slide opposite, the next part on the two section, come up with a design feature that will allow your buggy to achieve this. So for example, if we're saying because of the gravity, okay, because of the gravity of Mars, we know that the gravity is less than the gravity on Earth, maybe we need to make sure that the buggy stays on the ground. We don't want it floating off, okay? Into yeah, we, yeah, we need to make sure it's weighted down. Okay, so in order to do this, we might have to add heavier materials to the buggy in order to weigh it down to the ground. Okay. Now, and so there's loads of different. There's five things here for you to put in, and the features that your buggy is going to have in order to achieve that. Okay, that's the first thing I want you to fill in. Then, it's time to draw a detailed picture of your buggy. We want you to label it, which means any design features or things you've added, I want you to put in. But then one feature I want you to really focus on, okay? And it says choose one feature to draw in more detail in a smaller box and label it with materials, so what it's made out of, and explain its special features, okay? So that is the activity, okay, that I want you guys to have a go at, okay? That is your science activity for today. I'll make sure that I not only put these, both of these documents on the Google Classroom, but also this link, okay, so that you can check out what's going on okay with the Mars rover okay and you can check out the features of the ones that they've had already they've sent already to Mars okay good luck with designing your Mars buggy I can't wait to check them out <laughs>